Hello everyone, once again you are welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular episode, this is actually a course I'll, I'll, I'll be dealing with nuclear chemistry. Nuclear chemistry is our next topic and this is actually for Chem 101 and also for Chem 404. I mean for the same University of Raqqa. So if you are doing Chem 404, you will see something like nuclear chemistry. If you are doing something like Chem 101, you will see something like this. So please, let's get started. What do you understand by nuclear chemistry? Nuclear chemistry deals with the nucleus. Let me use that. But please take note. Nuclear chemistry, nuclear chemistry is the same thing as radio nuclear chemistry. So is that you call it nuclear chemistry or you call it radio nuclear chemistry? Please. There is a great difference between nuclear chemistry and radioactivity. Radioactivity differs from uh, radionuclear chemistry or differs from nuclear chemistry. So what is nuclear chemistry? Nuclear chemistry is a branch of chemistry that deals with the changes that occur in the nucleus of an atom. So this is usually an atom. We have a proton, proton already positive charge. We have neutron that is neutral. Then we have electron that revolve around it. Then the proton and the neutron, they are found in the nucleus. So the changes that occur, the branch of chemistry rather, that study the changes that occur in the nucleus, the nucleus of an atom is called nuclear chemistry. I repeat, the branch of chemistry that study the changes that occur in the nucleus of an atom is what we call what? Nuclear chemistry. And radio nuclear chemistry is actually the same thing with what I just explained now, but radioactivity Radioactivity deals with stability. I'm going to explain this in our subsequent video. So, radioactivity deals with what? Stability. It talks about the, 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 the spontaneous disintegration or the spontaneous breakdown of the nucleus of an atom. So, the reason for the breakdown is because the nucleus of that particular atom is not stable. So, you have to break it down continuously for you to obtain what? Stability. Okay. The next question most of you will always ask, what is the difference between a nuclear chemistry, sorry, nuclear reaction and chemical reaction? I already explained the difference between nuclear chemistry and radioactivity. Radioactivity is inside the nuclear chemistry. Nuclear chemistry is like the feed, is the, is the, is the, is the, is the, is, is the branch of chemistry. Why a branch of or a part of nuclear chemistry is called radioactivity. We talked about stability, the spontaneous integration of the nucleus of an atom, where by the end of the OT you emit it and all that. But we are not talking about radioactivity for now. Maybe in a subsequent video I'm going to deal with that. Now let's get started. So I believe that most of us we are wondering, is it true that chemical reaction, chemical reaction is the same thing as nuclear reaction? The answer is already known. Please take note. Nuclear reaction is not the same with chemical reaction. So what is the difference between nuclear reaction and a chemical reaction? Let me give you an example. For example, if you have A plus B, it can give you AB. Let me use elements. Sodium plus chlorine to give us what? Sodium chloride. Let me balance the equation. Yes. This is a balanced chemical equation of uh, this reaction. If you look at this sodium here, atom of sodium reacting with atom of chlorine is going to form what you call a substance. So this is for a chemical reaction. So, but in terms of nuclear reaction, you don't convert, the conversion of atom differs. You only convert the atom, not even the whole atom, a part of the atom of one particular compound to another part again. Let me show you. For example, if you have, uh, let's say, Hydrogen 1 1 plus hydrogen 3 1. In this, if you add this together, it's going to give us 4, give us 2, it's going to give us helium. So, what I did here is that I converted the nucleus of this particular atom, this hydrogen atom, this hydrogen atom, and it gave me a separate, a new atom generally, a new nucleus. So, this is for chemical reaction. You convert from a particular atom. To another, but for a nuclear for a chemical reaction, you don't convert from a particular atom to another. What you do, you combine atom to form a new substance. Elements react together to form a compound. Elements colliding to form a mixture. 
or some SARS collide to form a missile. But for a chemical reaction, you convert like you convert the atom of a particular element to form another element. You convert a, 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 the one of protium and tritium to form what helium. So that's all that. Then the next one I have here. What are the factors affecting chemical reaction? We believe that temperature affects chemical reaction. Pressure affects chemical reaction. Um, concentration affects. Catalyst does not affect chemical reaction. But we all believe that catalyst affects the rate of the chemical reaction. Uh, probably in our next class, I will be dealing with something like this. Catalyst does not affect chemical reaction. It only slows down or increases the rate of the chemical reaction. So that's for catalyst. But this affects chemical reaction, not nuclear reaction. So what are those things that can affect this kind of reaction is the number of nuclei. So for a nuclear reaction, what affects the nuclear reaction is the number of what? Of nuclei, not temperature. Pressure has nothing to do with this. Temperature has nothing to do with this. Uh, 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 uh. Number of moles has nothing to do with this. Concentration has nothing to do with it. The only thing that can affect a nuclear reaction is called what? Number of nuclei. Then the next one I have here, involvement in the reaction. Okay, let me draw an atom. This is a proton. This is... Let me draw a bigger atom. For a clear understanding. Okay. This is an atom. We have proton here. Positively charged. This is a proton. This is neutron. Why this one is what? This is the electron. Both of them are found in the nucleus. And all of them, they are found in the waves, in the atom. So if you look at this structure closely, for every chemical reaction, for every chemical reaction, the only part that takes place is the electron. Proton has no business with the chemical reaction. Electro, uh, neutron has no business with the chemical reaction. So the only thing that takes part in the chemical reaction is what? The electron. For example, hydrogen reacting with... Uh, let me see, use the same example. Sodium reacting with chlorine. Sodium is 11. Hydrogen, chlorine is 17. So sodium will be 2,8,1. This will be 2,8,7. I'm talking about the electron now. So this guy is going to give out the electron, giving out electron. He's not giving out the proton. So he's going to give out the electron to this one. So we have 2,8. While the other one will have 2,8,8 for, uh, for which will be the other true. So in this particular reaction, what you are simply doing is that you are transferring electron. Covalent, ionic, uh, 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 what is that one again? Ordinary, covalent, coordinate, those are even the two main reactions. Covalent, uh, type of body rather, ionic and covalent, those are the main two. Then under the covalent, that's where you see your hydrogen bond, your dative bond, your, your, your polar and the rest. So please take note, for every chemical reaction, what takes place is just the electron. But for a nuclear reaction, what takes place is the what? The what takes part in a, in, a, in a nuclear reaction is the nucleus, not the electron. And the nucleus consists of the proton and the electron. So please take note of that. The nucleus consists of the proton and the what? The neutron. Electron take part in a chemical reaction, not in a nuclear reaction. Why proton and neutron take part in a nuclear reaction? Or the nucleus take part in what? The nuclear reaction. So the last difference I have there, amount of energy. A chemical reaction, the amount of energy in a chemical reaction is usually not measurable. Most of us who have done chemical reaction, the titration we did then, if they tell you that what is the energy involved, we can't, we can't really say, we can't, we can't really say this is the uh, exact amount of energy that is involved. If they, uh, if they also ask you, is the mass measurable? Can you measure the mass of the whole stuff? It is usually very difficult for you to measure. So for a nuclear, re for a chemical reaction, I mean our titration is our example, is, is now an example. The energy that is involved is not measurable, and even the mass, it is not measurable. But for a nuclear reaction, energy is usually involved, and that energy is measurable. And also, the mass is as well what? Measurable. Let me ask you a simple question. This is option A, option B, option C, option D. Proton, neutron, electron and then nucleus please number number one over two if i go to the comment section i just write something like this number one and number two then the question is 
The first question, number one question, which of the following takes part in a chemical reaction? If your answer is A, you put A number one. Then which of the following takes part in a nuclear reaction? If your answer is B, you put B here. Please, this very one is for a chemical reaction. Why number two is for a what? A nuclear reaction. So, I believe we have gone far. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next episode.